It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Niners and the Rams, and it's coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of angels, Los Angeles, California. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Now Warner. He finds his man complete. That's Holt. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now a give left side, it's Dickerson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Warner. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards on the play. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Dickerson trying the right side. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike, that means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Now Warner. Over the middle complete. That's Holt. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third down and three. A play fake. Now Warner. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Hey, 
And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. Sean McVay's gamble does not pay off. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. And that could be a major momentum swing here early. Because the defense stopped them. How great is that? They go for it on the first drive of the game. They're the ones trying to establish something, trying to assert a little dominance. And guess what? You turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense. I agree with you. It could change momentum in a big way. Play fake. Now here's Montana. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking the secondary. No beating around the bush with this curl. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally... You build up to the big shot, but not in this case. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Craig. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 30. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Play action. It's Montana. That'll be caught by Rice. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, they opted not to run it. They completed the pass on third and two, but they lost yardage to bring up four. They'll give credit to the guys on the other side of the ball. They snuffed out the play. But it does bring into question, one, the play call, because they didn't run the ball there. They could have run it. And two, just not getting it. That's got to be deflating for them. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game and you look at the backgrounds of these kickers? It's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. From the 25, here's second and a couple. Play action. It's Warner. Turn the out route incomplete. It's Holt. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there 
of 21 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw, Warner. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That one complete to Bettis. Five yards, now it's third and five. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw a completion. Here's Warner, and this is going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner, as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Montana. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13. And that last play began at the 13. First down. On first down, Montana. Over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that's gonna bring up second down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Craig, and he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. This is how offensive coordinators earn their money. He plays ahead of the curve after first down. Got seven yards first down play, but then you get stuffed there on second down, maybe just a yard out of it. Now your advantage has evaporated. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. To throw is Montana. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. On first down, Craig. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. On second down, it's Craig. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. 
Montana's throw complete there to Rice. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Shotgun, here's Montana. And he hits the tight end, it's Davis. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Up the middle they go. It's Craig, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Aaron Donald's secret, if there is one, to his play, his ability to contort his body in such a way that you can't get a good, clean block on it. He slides through holes and slides past blockers and makes plays just as we saw there. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he is going to have a Niners first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Montana. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Montana. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle from six yards away. And they are able to add on to their advantage. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Point after here, coming up. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10.
Warner to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Holt. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Back to throw. Warner, throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as the tackle made right at the 30-yard line. Well, they can put him at a number of different places. In line, H-back, put him in the slot. In this case, they put him out wide. Matchup nightmare. Who are you going to send out to cover him? And he picks up a first down with that catch. On first and 10, Warner. He's going to let this one go deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Warner. He finds his man complete. That's Holt. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 39 yards there, a big one. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Warner. Got a man. It's Higby complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good work there. You're going to see on play action, they run an out route with the receiver on the outside and let the tight end work the seam in the area beyond him. A great concept, and it leads to a first down. Inside give to Dickerson, and he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day gonna give it up the middle here's Dickerson and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage a yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher third down and nine partner you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset you want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And his kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now a throw here to his running back. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They go play action with Montana. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. And they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. The Niners on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Now a handoff up the middle. Waters, and he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Fielded at the 20. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through goalposts. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Warner. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Holt. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as he'll be brought down at the 42-yard line. It'll be Warner on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Warner. Throw left side, complete to Cup. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. 
And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try and figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. First and 10 for Montana and company. Over the middle complete. It's Taylor. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. On the counter, goal. And he'll get about three up past the 25. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Here's Montana to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They will look to throw. Montana, he'll get that one to Taylor complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and that will bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 46, here's the second and eight. Up the middle they go. It's Waters, and a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 38-yard line. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Now Montana. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Come on, 
Our score, 10 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw is Montana. And it's caught. Touchdown. Debo Samuel, an 11-yard touchdown. And the 49ers go up by two touchdowns. That score was not a game clincher by any stretch of the imagination. But the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now a first down throw, Warner. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Warner. He finds his man complete. That's Holt. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. To throw Warner. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. And their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. Shotgun, here's Montana. Short throw, that's caught by Davis. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. A ball on the 32, it's second and two. Looking to throw. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On third down, Waters. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts 
as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Montana. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Operating out of the gun, here's Montana. Throw left side, completion to Rice. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a yard. Montana. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, this was coach, an extremely one-sided first you half. The gang in Orlando, one team showed up, as we ready to go. Everyone back the other's been in a daze three. thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side complete. That's Craig. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, 
it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now a give right side. It's Waters, a little juke, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And finding Davis here, the tight end. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Up the middle they go with Gore. What a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 13 yards there and a Niner first. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. They'll run on first down. Craig, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. On second down, Montana. And he hits the tight end. It's Davis. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 29-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. They go play action with Montana. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Play fake. Now here's Montana. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards, the final tally. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the 49ers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 24.
The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against the secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Play action. It's Warner. He finds his man complete. That's Holt. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all, but the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Warner, nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. Down to the 10, and he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella, what a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're gonna have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's gonna wanna run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles, they're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, 
You're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I'm wondering, part if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. Now Warner. Short throw. It's Higby. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third and three. Warner to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the white. I and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Here's Montana to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. On first and 10, Warner. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 
Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A play fake. Now Warner. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. And his kick is good. And that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Now the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. They will look to throw Montana and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively and now it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Out of the gun now on third down. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that that's answer. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. It'll be Warner on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Warner. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. 
49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Operating from the gun. Warner. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. First and 10 for Montana and company. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven at its second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down now. It's Craig, and he's going to have a Niners first down as he gets this up past the 30. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run the counter. It's Craig, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Second and seven, operating from the 34. They'll keep it on the ground. Craig, and they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. To throw is Montana. He finds his man complete. It's Waters. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles, as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now a first down throw, Warner. Now that'll be caught by Cobb. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. To throw on second down, Warner. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up to the 32. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Out of the gun, here's Warner. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. 
And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Warner. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up to the 43. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. To throw, Warner. Going to throw right side here, complete. Touchdown, L.A. A big play there. 57 yards. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now the try here for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. So that drive spanned five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, but the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? get closer and smother it just as they did on that last play on second down it's Craig and some room to work and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 that's good for 21 yards and a first down hate to be blunt but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now they deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. On first down, it's Craig. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. They'll run on first down. Craig, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. Here's second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Craig. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. A gain of ten and a 49er first down. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. 
big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. That ball caught. It's Rice. Touchdown, 49ers. A 24-yard touchdown. And the 49ers had six to their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Now the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. Let's go, man. Whatever it takes, I'm getting it. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The football going back to the Rams now. Warner from the gun. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Throwing again, Warner. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you gotta <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Back to throw again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Looking to throw. Warner able to find the open man. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 32-yard line. A pickup of 27. And they pick up the first down in the process. Oh, 
Operating from the gun. Warner. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Now a play fake here on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed great hands and big bodies which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Throwing again on second down but this time it's incomplete. Now this drive they're two for two on third down conversions but they need seven yards here. Warner Resulting in the sack. Nick Bosa drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. The lessons will continue of this rookie. He's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. That far behind the line, he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack, whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator now that they're 0 for 2. If they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, They've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The offense on third down, well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This time it's third and three. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Craig. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 119 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. On second down now. It's Craig, and he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. 
Uh, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. A good solid run there as we head towards the home stretch of this game. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. first down Craig and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W in the mind of the play caller all you want to hear is tick 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 just need a yard here second and one they'll keep it on the ground it's Craig, and he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. So it's a win for the Niners here. And it was their quarterback who led the way, Charles. Pretty impressive play for a rookie. Yeah, you had to like what you saw. He was on point the whole game. Wound up going over 300 yards with three touchdown passes. That will definitely get the job done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.